circumcision, um, the best uh, interpretations I've read of circumcision come from Africa. Circumcision is a ritual that belongs, I think, I'm not sure about this, to tropics and uh, also to desert people. Uh, now, in, uh, in the Sudan, a uh, number of the explanations, not only of circumcision, but also of clitorectomy, where there's a uh, excision of the clitoris in the young woman. The idea is that uh, we are born androgyne, male and female. What the circumcision is, according to this interpretation, meant to do is to release the full manhood from occlusion, you might say, in the mother womb. I mean, it's symbolically interpreted that way. And with the removal of the, the clitoris from the female organ, uh, this removes the male element and the person is fully female. Now, in these ceremonies, Africa and the place where, my God, where these things are carried all the way through is Australia, the old Australian uh, rituals. The ritual takes place at puberty. Now, an interesting thing in the Jewish tradition, just like baptism in the Christian tradition, is it doesn't occur at puberty, it occurs in childhood. Well, this means that the society has taken you over, and uh, you're no longer the authority the society is, do you see? But the other comes just at the moment of maturity, and so it, it means something else there. Well, in Judaism, it's been given a very special interpretation as the sign of the covenant. And this, of course, leaves the female out in a certain way, which I think uh, Jewish females now, particularly in this women's movement, are beginning to feel. But um, in, in the uh, Sudanese rituals, and I think it's probably from Africa that the Jews got this, uh, the, um, the ritual is that of coming to your, your full sexual maturity. <laughs>